Unit 8, Lesson 10. Finding and interpreting the mean as the balance point. Number 1. On school days, Kieran walks to school. Here are the lengths of time and minutes for Kieran's walk on five school days. A. Create a dot plot for Kieran's data. I'm going to number my graph from 11 to 18. Above the 11, 12, 13, 16, and 18, I placed a dot to represent Kieran's data. B. Without calculating, decide if 15 minutes would be a good estimate of the mean. If you think it is a good estimate, explain your reasoning. If not, give a better estimate and explain your reasoning. No, because the sum of the numbers to the right of 15 seem greater than the sum of the numbers to the left of 15, and it wouldn't balance. A better estimate would be just left of the 15, like number 14. C. Calculate the mean for Karen's data. 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 16 plus 18 divided by 5. And that equals 70 divided by 5. And 70 divided by 5 is 14. The mean for Karen's data is 14. D. In the table, record the distance of each data point from the mean and its location relative to the mean. The mean is 14. When the time in minutes is 16, the distance from the mean is 2, and it's to the right of the mean. When the time in minutes is 11, the distance from the mean is 3, and it's to the left of the mean. When the time in minutes is 18, the distance from the mean is 4, and it's to the right of the mean. When the time in minutes is 12, the distance from the mean is 2, and it's to the left of the mean. When the time in minutes is 13, the distance from the mean is 1, and it's to the left of the mean. E. Calculate the sum of all distances to the left of the mean, then calculate the sum to the right of the mean. Explain how these sums show that the mean is a balance point for the values in the data set. I made a little balance or a scale or a teeter-totter. On the left hand side I'm going to add up the distances away from 14 on the left side of 14. And on the right hand side I'm going to add up the distances away from 14 to the right of 14. Since 11 is 3 to the left of 14 I'm going to write 3. Since 12 is 2 places to the left of 14 I'm going to write 2. Since 13 is one place away from 14 to the left, I'm going to write 1. On the right hand side, 16 is 2 to the right of 14, so I'm going to write 2. And 18 is 4 to the right of 14, so I'm going to write 4. 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6, and 2 plus 4 is 6. The sum of the distances from 14 on the left hand side is 6 and the sum of the differences from 14 on the right hand side is 6. This shows that the balance point is 14. 14 plus 6 on the left side balances with 14 plus 6 on the right side. 2 minutes to the right of 14 is 16, and 4 minutes to the right of 14 is 18, which balances with the minutes that are on the left side of 14. 11 is 3 minutes, to the left of 14, 12 is 2 minutes to the left of 14, and 13 is 1 minute to the left. Number 2. Noah scored 20 points in a game. My score was 30 points. The mean score for Noah, Mai, and Claire was 40 points. What was Claire's score? Explain or show your reasoning. They told us that the mean was 40 or the balancing number was 40. Noah scored 20 and my scored 30. Their numbers will be to the left of 40 because they're less than 40. And since the mean was larger than both Noah's score and my score, Claire's score would have to be greater than 40. 20 is 20 away from the mean or 20 is 20 away from 40. And 30 is 10 away from the mean or 30 is 10 away from 40. 
so 20 plus 10 is 30. Claire needs to score 30 points more than the mean to be balanced, or Claire needs to score 30 points more than 40 to be balanced. And 30 points more than 40 is 70. In order for the mean to be 40, Claire must have scored 30 points more than 40, which is 70 points. Claire scored 70 points. Number 3. Compare the numbers using greater than, less than, or equal to. A. Negative 2 and 3. Negative 2 is less than 3. B. The absolute value of negative 12 and the absolute value of 15. The absolute value of negative 12 is less than 15. That's just like 12 is less than 15. C. 3 compared to negative 4. 3 is greater than negative 4. D. The absolute value of 15 compared to the absolute value of negative 12. The absolute value of 15 is greater than the absolute value of negative 12. That's just like 15 is greater than 12. Number 4. A. Plot two-thirds and three-fourths on a number line. Here I've made a number line from 0 to 1. I've divided it into three sections, three equal sections. Directly on the end of the second section, I put a dot that represents two-thirds. Next, I divide the unit into four equal pieces. After the third section, I place a dot and that represents three-fourths. B. Is two-thirds less than three-fourths or is three-fourths less than two-thirds? Explain how you know. Here's a look at the number line with two-thirds plotted closer to zero than three-fourths. Three-fourths is to the right of two-thirds, so three-fourths is greater than two-thirds. And two-thirds is less than three-fourths. So three-fourths is greater than two-thirds because three-fourths is further to the right on the number line. Number five, select all expressions that represent the total area of the large rectangle. There's actually three rectangles. There's one smaller rectangle with dimensions of five by X. There's a larger rectangle with dimensions five by Y. And then there's the two of them combined, 5x plus 5y. These two rectangles combined make one large rectangle. And the expressions that represent this large rectangle are 5 times x plus y and 5x plus 5y. So I selected expressions A and C. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 8, Lesson 10, Finding and Interpreting the Mean as the Balance Point. <music>